Hello everybody and welcome to Anexus TV. This is Kainai and with me I have Johnny. Say hi Johnny. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, I was having a drink. Yeah, no worries. Anyways, it is Croatia against Montenegro. The uh, battle of of, uh, of the Balkans. And it is the knife round on Inferno. So, uh, who do you think will win, Johnny? Honestly, mate, uh... I don't know. I've, I, in my eyes, this is anyone's game, really. I've not seen any of the teams play before. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I definitely know some of the Croatia lads back from uh, when I used to play Source. If I'm honest, I've never heard of any of the Montenegro lads. So here we go then. Fister with first blood with that knife kill. And uh, Mister, I think he's called Mister, replies. So typical knife round with both teams running at each other. Come on, get it over and done with. Da -de -da -de -da. There we go. So Croatia are gonna win this knife round. But yeah, my money's definitely on Croatia. I'm gonna go and say 16-6 in favour of Croatia. Uh, I'd love to, to predict a score, honestly. <laughs> I'll say 60, I'll just go against you and say maybe 16 Montenegro. Alright, for fair throw enough. Throw just random numbers. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, just to clarify one thing, I think a lot of people noticed that uh, uh, I had this sort of graphic ready for this game, but put Macedonia instead of Montenegro. I have no idea why I put Macedonia. <laughs> uh, but yeah, shit happens, I guess. I've heard of Macedonia playing to you. <laughs> Nor have I. Like I I've was never just... heard them in any esports game, really. I was I was thinking about it. I was like, do I, like, I've never seen any Macedonians on Cadred or HLTV, and I was just like, w w w I don't know why I chose Macedonia. Like, dear well, me. Uh, let's just say, if any Macedonians are watching, then hello. Then make hello, a CS Macedonians. team. Hello, Macedonians. Yeah, make a CS team. <laughs> and then so we'll make a graphic, especially for the Macedonians. <laughs> Maybe you should save the graphic you have now. Yeah, just in case Croatia end up playing Macedonia yeah. in the future. Or like the next version of Counter-Strike after Global Offensive, whatever it's going to be. But anyways, we're going to jump right into this pistol round here. Montenegro, of course, with the nerf down Glocks. And uh, Croatia, of course, the counter terrorists. This is a CT-sided map. So let's see what's going to happen here then. Let's go with Auto Director. And put our faith in that for a little bit. If it's crap, then we'll uh, we'll switch over to something else. I do believe there's a delay of some any sort. Real choice, mate. Yeah, there yeah. is. You don't have any real choice right now with all the directory changes automatically. So. Yeah, I mean we'll we'll, we'll give it we'll, we'll give it a shot on this pistol round. But anyways, the flashes are going into to uh, I was going to say to Montenegro onto this uh, smaller B bomb site now. Fister along with Anakin are going to try and stop this rush now. The smokes are being deployed. Anakin's in trouble. Fister's going to come from behind. And Anakin is already down, so he was talking about Fister. Got that frag, but it wasn't enough. Four versus three now. So CTs, of course, are going to try and rotate. One of them being Madbone, who's managed to flash himself. Unlucky Madbone, but talking about flashing himself, it didn't make a difference. He landed that one USP onto Mister. And, uh, wow. Good stuff by uh, Madbone. Hang on a second. One more to go. Misko is the last man standing, and Madbone gets the hat trick. So, bog standard pistol round. Yeah. It's a good take by the side it was the textbook core smoke and a CT smoke. Uh, they had to work that from really the CT. It's quite difficult to come up with people like that, but Madbone, despite the fell flash, did redeem himself with a nice cool three man. Yeah. On the retake. Definitely one well nil, yeah. Mm -hmm. So of course now Croatia do have the money advantage. We're already seeing some silenced M4s being bought by them. And of course Montenegro, well they've got a keep a bit more money in the bank. They've got to save. They've got to be slightly greedy. They can't go for any SMGs. They probably can't afford any SMGs, to be fully honest. Well, they did get the bomb down, so they might be able to. So someone correct me if I'm incorrect in the uh, Twitch chat. But anyways, the uh, Montenegrins slowly sneaking towards that second mid area. Croatia, normally, would be uh, looking to play slightly defensive. But the Stampede of Terrors are going to go towards Arch now. Zrix with that first kill onto Madbone. And Anakin coming from that smaller B-bomb site, two from Anakin, Fister with that SMG kill, and NRK Mister in trouble, talking about trouble, and it looks like trouble is Spexy's middle name, he gets that lovely headshot onto Mister, and Anakin, a very good friend of mine, gets the hat-trick, 2-0. 
Again, Matt Bone with a, despite getting no frag, he did some decent damage with the guys at the middle on the push, allowing Anakin to get himself a nice two-man spray. Uh, but then NRK, I believe, uh, found himself in a situation where he was stuck in Arch. Unfortunately, there was no way out of that. No way out of that. So uh, you probably noticed now that Montenegro have gone for for the early buy. If they lose this, well, they're going to be financially crippled. Some of the CTs have all, um, uh, have kept their FAMASes. Spexy and Herza, two of the Croatians with just FAMASes. So the T's at the bottom of Banana. They're taking their time. They have left one in second mid, but it doesn't look like they're going to... Well, it looks more, more likely that they're going to go towards this smaller B-bomb site. Anakin and Fister, of course, as we saw in the first round. Another terrorist protecting that smaller bomb site, protecting those uh, goldfish. But anyways... What are we going to see from the terrorist now? Sparring left, right and centre. NRK has been hit, but he's still alive and breathing. No need for a medic just yet. And the flashes are going to go in. They're being dispersed left, right and centre. And Anakin and Fister, well, they've got company at the moment. Fister is just waiting to see ahead of a terrorist. Spots one. Down he goes. Good. Well played from Fister. But Kronos had something else in mind. Landed that headshot onto Fister. And Anakin, well, a bit disappointed by him. He's a good player. I know he is. Used to play with him a lot, but uh, he hasn't done very well on that B-bomb site as it stands, but Madbone, we saw what he could do last time round rotating, and he's already taken Zrix down. It's interesting to see that Montenegro actually peeking. Chill out guys, you've got the bomb down on the floor, just play it cool. So, two versus one, wow! Wow, Misko came from came out of ruins there. I'll tell you what, auto director missed that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was a bold, bold push from Montenegro, and it did pay off as they did push through the smoke that the CDs did place. But NRK found himself in the barbecue spot that the CT, I don't think, noticed until he did push the coils. Uh, got themselves a plan, and like you said, it really shouldn't have peaked, but uh, it did pay off in the last frag, and they did get the round, so they got away with that a little bit. Yeah, they really needed that round, otherwise they would have been financially crippled, because the CT's lost, they're financially crippled now, the eco push, two lovely headshots from Mister, I think he's called Mister, I have no idea, but anyways, Anakin is making his way towards that second mid, that lovely P250 splash, but he's looking the wrong way, Kronos with that kill onto Fister, bog standard anti-eco from uh, Montenegro now, none of them are even dead, Madbone on 56 HP, and Anakin was on his last breath, but Zrix takes care of him, and see you later, Madbone. 2-2. Two, two. They've leveled it up. Yeah. I mean, if the CTs were like, they were thinking maybe the T's had rushed second mid or mid maybe. They thought, yeah, we've put behind them all here. But the two guys who did say T-spawn, again, it paid off. I mean, getting quite, uh, I don't want to say lucky, but um, again, after the peaking from that early round and that holding the bottom of the stairs, I don't know. No, I know what you mean. I mean, again, a lot of these players, I think some of the... Ooh, good shot from Anakin. Does what he does best with that AVP, the big green gun. But yeah, a lot of these players, obviously being from the same part of the world, I know for a fact, because uh, I used to play with quite a few of them, they all play together, be it Croatians or Macedonians, so a lot of them know uh. each other's styles of play. Um, some of them have probably okay. been in the same teams together, so uh, you never know. Right. They might have anti strated each other on that previous round. But that makes a knows. lot of sense. Yeah, we've just got to wait and see how this round develops now. It's slow from the Terrace. Auto Director, as always, showing me someone who's completely irrelevant. But anyways, the push... The one, no, it, <laughs> the, the push isn't going to commence. Anakin, as we can see, and Fister on that B bomb site. Even though the Terrace are on the other bomb site. Why are we looking here? Anyway, Spexy from behind that van. We'll land that headshot onto Misko. Madbone getting on the score sheet as well. And, uh, wow, Spexy with another headshot. And Mister is the last man standing on 6 HP. So, uh, it looks like he's going to fall back and save. Bog standard round from the CTs. Very well done. I mean, Anakin, I think Anakin, he got that early pick. It was a turning point. And, it, well, it's already a CT-sided map. Now that the CTs have proper M4s, they have proper guns, being a man down didn't help him at all. So, ten seconds to go. And Mister is just chilling in the T-ups. Three, two. It was a great hold from Spexy on through. It was a very, very good hold. He did it very quickly, very smoothly. Did it just before anyone could even call him out. Two, two frags, perfect frags, really. Stops the push. 
an OK, or Mr, sorry, did the right thing in saving. But, uh, no, I don't know what the money's looking like for the T stuff, but they do have to win this round. They definitely do. Anyways, Anakin, if the T's are to win this round, they're going to try and have to prevent that AWP of Anakin. We can see that, wow, all the terrorists are on that banana area. And I want to know why. I'm getting sick and tired of this auto director, so I'm going to turn it off. There we go, it's off now. So, Fister, we've seen one of the Croatians in Madbone rotate towards his B-bomb site already. So, I think, well, just how Montenegro seem to be certain they want to hit this bomb site. The CT seems certain that they want to defend the bomb site, but Montenegro changed their mind. Are they going to change their mind? Wow, very slow round. Okay, they have changed their mind. We can confirm that now. Zrix, MR, and uh, NRK now. Smoking out that A that A bomb site. Jesus, what are these Macedonians doing? Come on, Macedonia. Actually, the bomb's still on banana. All right, let's chill out <laughs> and see what's going on here. Nope, they're falling back. They uh, they're gonna try and fake banana. They've thrown flashes over to that B bomb site, and Zrix and his teammates now are gonna try and infiltrate this large A bomb site. They're making their way towards quad now. One of the CTs is in pit. Zrix walking, but I think he's gonna see his CT now. He definitely sees Spexy, and Spexy takes his face off. Herza not too far behind, sitting in pit. Wow, Herza onto NRK. Madbone getting a frag, and uh, well, I don't know what to say really. It wasn't good at all from Montenegro. I think they wanted to fake yeah. a B push. But it definitely, yeah. And the CTs remain cool, calm and collected, and it definitely paid off. I mean, after about 15, 20 seconds, people have second thoughts. On, but the, obviously there was no call on B and no call on A, that's what made them stay there, and that was great, you should have just stayed where you were, and it did pay off, with a quick format, and uh, again, it changed their mind again, the T side, but he was already caught out before he could do anything, before he could even save. Yeah, i got to agree there, I think, I think, it looked like they wanted to, to fake a B, but then they changed their mind in the last second, like you said, and then it went through far too slow, but anyway, Herzer in pit now, Herzo with one, Spexy on the short street, Herzo with his second, but he was killed by Zrix's block, so they'll be happy about that frag, and Kronos makes it three versus two, of course, in favour of the Croatians. He did manage to pick up that AK off a dead counter-terrorist. So we have one CT in apps now, one coming around quad, and one near library. The CT near library being Anakin, with that AWP. He's going to throw that flash. Fist to take a look at mid, spots nothing. Of course, there are no CTs now, near the smaller B-bomb site. I think they know exactly where the Montenegrins are. It's just a matter of time. Look guys, let's keep cool, calm and collective and wait for one of them to pop out. They definitely know that one of them's there now because uh, Kronos, of course, with that AK was making quite a bit of noise. He's going to throw that nade towards Quad. Didn't do any damage, unfortunately. And they've got 28 seconds to go. They're going to have to try and do something. They do have the bomb. No, they don't have the bomb. They don't have the bomb. Oh, the bomb's in apps. Anakin spots the first one. Misses both shots, but Fister gets that frag. And they can definitely hit Kron in pit. Is he going to go down? Nope, Spex is going to go down. And Kronos, well, 10 seconds to go. He's going to have to try and push this. He's going to have to try and kill these two CTs. He's going to rescue the round. But Fister had something else up his sleeve. 5-2 to the Croatians. I mean, the Montenegro players, again, have just found themselves in a situation they cannot win, really. That, those positions definitely weren't ideal, especially with one in the apps covering the bomb. But um, Spexy, I don't know if he, if he was going to push, I think he should have pushed earlier. Honestly, because guy, the, the last team pit was expecting a push after his teammate had died. Yeah. I think Spexy shouldn't have pushed that at that time anyway. It's either you push earlier than that or you just don't at all. That was a waste of it. I mean, it's not like it's a problem because they've got cash, but you know, what, you know. What I mean. know, I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, Anakin with that big green gun, at banana. Hertz are playing apps relatively aggressively, and well, we're seeing, we're not seeing. Any, I hate to say this, I don't want to sound biased either, but we're not seeing anything special from the Montenegro, from the Montenegrins. No, I agree. They're just oh. <laughs> Well, I, I don't know what to say about that. Good shot from Anakin, but surely they knew that someone was orping Banana. They've seen it in the past few rounds. They haven't won any rounds. They know they still... But anyways, MR makes his way towards Arch. Spexy with two kills. Gets a double. Can he make it a hat-trick? Yes, he can. Pulls out that pistol. 
And he's going to get chased down. Oh! I, I thought Spectre was going to get that. But anyways, three versus one now. Anakin with that AWP. He uh, spotted the back. Missed a shot. Misko. Misko with that shot onto Hertz. So two versus one now. What can Misko pull out of the bag? He's going to get the bomb down. Anakin has picked up an AK. He's going to chase him down. Deals damage. And Anakin took him down before he had the chance to plant. Lovely hand trick from Spexy earlier on in the round that we missed. But 6-2. No, Specs he's doing a ton of work right now. I mean, that's a lot of a lot of kills he's getting. A lot of he holds as well. I mean, he's keeping this team in it. I mean, it's not like they're ever out of it. But that first pick that Anakin got should not have happened because that guy even went for the peak and went for the pick on the Orpa, and that was not very uh, very smart for the guy wanting that play. I agree. But anyways, it looks like we're going to see a massive eco push now. Can Fister slaughter these terrorists? Anakin with that first, Anakin with the second, Fister not too far behind, Fister with the hat trick! Bog standard eco bash from Croatia. 7 2. Honestly, nothing I can say about that. <laughs> yeah, they just <laughs> ran in there. It. Yeah, it was, a, it was a fantastic hold. But it was, uh, you've already said, box standard to eco bash. Yeah. So what are the Macedonians going to do now? Again, we haven't seen anything special or new from a Madbone. Ooh, should have pulled the trigger, but his reactions weren't quick enough. The bomb is in second mid. Mister now bleeding thanks to Anakin's nade. First blood goes to Herzer, but Misko wasn't too far behind. Nailed Herzer with that AK-47. So four versus four now. Anakin has uh, dropped the AWP he had earlier on, and he has that M4A4 radiation hazard. Madbone holding Arch with that with his own AWP. So, uh, interesting to see that the AWPs have gone from the B-bomb site towards the A-bomb site. And is that going to pay off for Croatia? Only time will tell. Montenegro at the moment taking their time like we've seen them do uh, round after round. Bar the last round, of course, because it was an eco push. But we haven't really seen seen them make anything out of these patient rounds. So Kronos with that AWP is going to peak Arch. We know CT's there. The question is, does Kronos know he's there? Oh, good shot from Kronos. Anakin probably went too aggressive at Banana. And it gives Macedonia a cheap frag. And they find themselves not one man ahead, but two men ahead. Vista pops out of Arch. But Zdrix takes good care of him. Spexy now. We were talking about how much of an important player he is for Montenegro. He has three Mon uh, for Croatia, sorry. He has three Montenegrins to take care of. I don't think they know he's there. Good shot from Spexy. They know exactly where he is. Ooh, well played by Spexy. But uh, he didn't have that cutting edge in the end to get... to uh, pull the clutch off. Yeah. Well, like you said, the Montenegrins are going for the slow pushes and they've not really been paying off in the past few rounds. But that frag from Kronos on Tanaki gave them the kick they needed. I think they were definitely worried about that guy, Banana, because he's always he was been a problem from round one, really. Um, Spexy, again, it was a good effort, but uh, the T's had good positioning. Had the bomb down. It was just a waiting game. Hang on a second, let's have a look at this Madbone. Ooh, trying to push second mid and get that AWP shot off to get the early pick, but it didn't pay off for him. Despite seeing Croatia finally lose the first proper buy round, they can still afford to buy proper weapons, which of course is good to see. We don't want to see, well, we'd rather see guns against guns than uh, an eco buy against guns. So Montenegro have easily made their way into apps. Strikes is watching the bottom of Banana. Anakin, the only... Wait, no, he actually has Fister with him. So, two CTs on the B-bomb site. A slow round, as usual. Again, well, I guess it's the same with any sport, you know? When, uh, it's like the England football team, a lot of the players play together in their clubs, but when it comes to internationals, they sometimes can't function together. They haven't practiced enough together. And uh, the same applies to Counter-Strike. A lot of these Montenegrins know each other, but they're not in the same team. So NRK, lovely shot there. He put, he put, he stampeded right out. Two from NRK. Wow, makes it look easy. And Croatia are in trouble. They were holding the B bombs, the A-bomb site relatively well in the last few rounds. But now Madbone, of course, has that AWP. He's going to struggle to try and pull a shot off through that smoke. Fister gets caught red-handed, but Anakin will rotate and get that frag, so he gives Croatia a lifeline. Kronos with that AK-47, he's awaiting Fister. Fister, of course, all he has is an AWP. It's just so difficult to retake a bombsite when all you have is an AWP. Anakin going big there, three versus three, and this round could go either way. Madbone, lovely shot onto NRK, but Madbone's falling back, Fister's falling back, and uh, 
decent effort from Croatia. I'm a bit disappointed that they didn't go for it. But Fister did have an off course, and uh, well, he has an M4 now, but that obviously leaves you at a disadvantage trying to retake a bomb site. Yeah, like you said, the good effort from the CTs. Some the terrorists had some iffy positioning. I don't know if you saw the ZRYX out by quad next to his teammate, Wanakin did pick. ZRYX in a position where he wasn't covered from any flashbangs, he didn't have any cover when he was being shot actually. He just uh, backed away to the side, completely out in the open, and he got taken with his pants down really. I mean, because <laughs> he was just flashed. He could not see. And the rest of his team were behind cover, they were completely fine. So Madbone with first blood. I'll tell you what, he's been pushing second mid quite a lot. And he wasn't paying off for him beforehand, but he has finally paid off for him. Like we said, this is a CT-sided map, so when you manage to take one terrorist down so early in the round, it can, well, completely demoralise Montenegro. Or any opponent who loses a man so early on T-side Inferno. So, Zrix with that AK-47 Predator. Anakin looks like he's going to leave. Nope, yeah, he is going to leave. Fister on that smaller B-bomb site and head over to the A-bomb site. The smokes and flashes are being dispersed now. And, uh, well, I'll tell you what, Montenegro... Wait, hang on a second. They faked it and they're going to go towards this smaller bomb site now. Misko, they're going to go on the hunt for this CT. Are they going to find him? They are. But Fetish is going to get the first kill. Not Fetish, sorry, it's Fister. And Zrix returns the kill. So a killer piece now. Don't know why I thought it was Fetish. So uh, now the T's need to get that bomb down. Kronos, Anakin, probably pushed too early. Should have waited for his teammates to rotate back around. And Kronos has a good position. He's going to change it. So, Herza is pushing from Banana along with another of his teammates. He's going to look good shot. 1M4 from Herza. And if he keeps this up, then uh, they'll retake this bomb site with no problem. Mister will take down Madbone. Herza spots Madbone and takes down Mister. Not Madbone, spots Mister. Deary me, what are these names? Hertz is going to fake the fuse, but they didn't know Zrix was there. Spexy knows exactly where he is now. He's going to hunt him down. Zrix can hear him. Who's going to get the frag? Spexy is. Does he have a kit? He does, and I think he's going to just about get it. Good retake from CTs. I really, really wanted to say that Hertz's play was, you know, flawless. I really did. Got the one shot M4 on the guy on the coils. Naded the guy in the dark spot. Obviously, Predicted he was there, but didn't follow it up. Got a good shot on the guy on the yellow boxes at the back. Didn't see the guy actually peek from docks, but as he started to defuse, and he paid the price of an AK-47 headshot, really. But uh, luckily, Spexy was still alive to get the guy as he was still out in the open and get the defuse. So, we're seeing something slightly different from Croatia now. Before, we saw... The CTs. Oh, what's Anakin? Oh, Anakin just missed that AWP shot. But he knows that one of the T's is there now. And the fact that he's pushed so deep down Banana will give him better control over Banana and uh, sort of guarantee. Oh, good shot from Anakin through the smoke. Misko, I don't know what he was doing there. He put the smoke out, but he tried to spray Anakin through the smoke. I mean, it was such a tight angle, Anakin could only shoot in one place which was going to land straight on the terrace, so I, I'm not quite sure what he was doing there. <laughs> and again, they're giving yeah. Anakin easy picks at Banana. Why, Montenegro? Come on. Step your game up. You can't do that. You can't afford to lose one man on uh, such a CT-sided map like Inferno. Obviously, it's slightly less CT-sided now and go, but uh, it still is overall a CT-sided map. And anyways... Are we going to see this push now? Spexy will devour Chrono. Spexy with two. I'll tell you what, he's been the man of the match so far. And then, okay, well, Spexy with the hat trick. He's going to go on the hunt for this four man. Let's have a look at him. I think I think we should just spectate Spexy. And funnily enough, he does have his crosshair right where Zrikes is. Zrikes obviously does have the bomb. Ten seconds to go. He's going to save it. And uh, it would have been nice if he could get the plant money, but he's not going to get it because the time's going to run out in two seconds. And we're going to have 9-4 as Croatia add to their tally. Wise decision from the last terrorist there, Dave. And as you were saying about Anakin earlier, he, he, Misko did smoke, but then he thought he was uh, invisible. He did think yeah. he was invisible, but he, he forgot that there are traces when you shoot through smoke. Like you said, you can only shoot in one place, and when the traces are there, you know exactly where he is. Exactly. Right I there. I mean, there was only one angle both that both players could see each other from Anakin. 
Wow. First shot onto uh, Mister. It looks like Montenegro are going to continue running into this B-bomb site. Well, they're stopping and they're rushing in one at a time. Montenegro, you can't do that. You're a team. Play as a team. But anyways, Madbone will take out LRK. Madbone with number two. And Montenegro, well, they're paying the price for some poor, poor Counter-Strike at the moment. There's no other way to put it. I'm not anti-Montenegrin, but uh, I don't think they're very happy with their CSGO team at the moment. For any Montenegrin uh, fans. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like you said, one by one, it just doesn't work. Cannot win a rush with a one by one. Where the terrorists do go in one by one. Because it's good, there's crossfires, there's everything. You've got people rotating. They've got so much time to adapt from the commentary side. And you basically, there's no point even trying if you're going to one put. If you're going to push in one more. Hang on a second. Well, Anakin's going to throw that nade. He's been hit himself. Wow, a bunch of Macedonians on Banana. But uh, he couldn't get any of the kills. And, well, are they going to fall back now? It just doesn't look like Montenegro. Like, it doesn't look like they have a strat in mind specifically. I, I don't know how to explain it. But, you know, when you play CS for so long and you just look at, <laughs> look at them and it's mm -hmm. like, do you... <laughs> Do you have something in mind, or are you just gambling on something without trying to sound like like I'm against this Montenegrin side or something? But still, they do have four rounds on T side Inferno, which in Source, well, four rounds is decent enough to uh, partner with a decent CT side. I think on CSGO, you'll be looking for more, maybe five rounds as T. So Montenegro do have a chance to actually get it. Anakin with two. That was actually his third, was it? Where is Anakin? No, it was his second. He was only two. Deary me. That happened so fast. And the last man standing is Kronos, who I think is going to fall to his death. He is. 11-4. Standard CT submission. Some fantastic plays. Again, like you said, the T set, the Montenegro just didn't look like they gelled as a team together, really. They looked like they were playing individually for frags. And that kind of explains the slow straps, how they were waiting for a pick, but it just wasn't going to happen because the Croatians felt so comfortable in the positions they were in that, hey, we don't need to rotate, they're going to run in one by one. Yeah. They've not done a strat all half. Let's just take it slow, guys. And uh, let's just win with this. They only need, what is it? Well, it's it five. Maths, but... Five, five for Croatia, <laughs> yeah. But anyways, Montenegro gonna get that first kill. Croatia, Croatia going for an all out push. They're gonna go into bedroom, try and take down Misko. They have done. Four on four now. Anakin is gonna drop down into pit. He does have a CT not too far away from him, who is very heavy tanked on four HP to be exact. So four versus three. Wow. Quickly turns into a three versus two. Bog standard pissed around from Croatia. But the point now is that Montenegro shouldn't lose this round. They shouldn't lose this round on paper, and on top of that, well, they need to win this round. Of course, they're what, what is it, eight rounds down? So uh, they need to put, no, seven. So they need to pull something out of the bag, and it could be eight rounds down now. Anakin gets his second, so 12-4. Montenegro had to win that round, period. Yeah. Had to win that round if they wanted a chance of winning this game. Now, standardly, the team who wins the pistol round are kind of... I don't want to say he's certainly going to win, but there's a very good chance they're going to win the next two rounds, which will take them to 14-4. And so the Montenegro had to win that round if they wanted the chance of winning this game. So, of course, like you were saying, Montenegro really needs to win that round. On paper now, they're going to lose the next two rounds, which is going to put... Well, it's mm -hmm. going to be too close for comfort as far as Montenegro are concerned. They're going to be... Well, because Croatia are going to have 14 rounds, and of course they need 15 for the draw. But it is a best of three, guys, so Montenegro do have time to turn it around. You know, Inferno might not have been their strongest map. But anyways, if push onto this smaller B-bomb site begins. Anakin with that Galil will uh, nail Mr. in the head. Fister with that Bison kill. So, they know two CTs are there. Lovely play from Anakin and Fister as well. Well, all it has taken is taken two terrorists to bomb into that... B bomb site and take out four CTs. Should that be happening, even though the CTs are on pistols? I don't think so. No, it shouldn't happen. NRK should have gotten that frag for, for barbecue. Like just, again, period should should have gotten that frag of barbecue. But it, I don't think it really would have been enough to win the round anyway, because it was a fantastic split. And they they can they can buy these AKs to feel that comfortable to buy AKs in the second round. I mean, that's a massive advantage, both psychologically and in the game. Definitely. 
Let's have a look at the scoreboard now. Well, oh, Montenegro are a man down. Have they had someone rage quit? I'm not quite sure. But anyways, let's focus on what's going on on this B bomb site first before we look at the scoreboard as some people were requesting. So Madbone is going to run towards Ruins and try and take down. Is he going to take down that CT? He's spraying. Who's going to get that kill? Wow, Mr. and NRK. Well, they've got a chance to capitalize on now. They've uh, taken down two terrorists. Mr. is going to shoot in. He's shooting. Finally gets the shot off. The kill off onto Herpser. Spexy making his way in from Banana. Know exactly where Mr. is because obviously he was killed by a teammate. And oh, two nades there. But somehow Mr. survives on 6 HP. Banana Kin and Spexy take out the garbage. And Misko is the last man standing in the uh, for Montenegro. He's going to try and get a kill of that Famas. But Anakin had him in his back pocket. 14-4. Some great synergy for Fexy and Anakin in that play to take the site. As Spexy, like you said, he nade at the back of the site, felt comfortable enough to pick the guy coming from the CT, you know, and Anakin will do what Spexy's job was going to be, which is to kill the guy on site. Some great, great play, honestly. They are gelling a lot better than the Montenegro team. So, uh, we're just going to take a look at the scoreboard. Misko for Montenegro on 11 kills, 16 deaths. Mister on 9 kills, 15 deaths. Zrix on 7 kills, 15 deaths. NRK on 4 kills, 17 deaths. As far as Croatia concerned, Spexy, we said how good he was. Hang on a second, let's take a look at this. Montenegro in pit. And, uh, well, do we really need to cast this? It's just uh, an anti-eco. Montenegro for everything they can, but Mister's going to make his way through Arch now with that overpowered P90. He's managed to get a frag, and I think we have a pause on the server, do we? No, it was just me lagging. But anyways, Croatia managed to finish no, it off. No, it was also me as well. Okay, so it was Source TV. Uh, Go TV. Anyways, back to the scoreboard. Anakin um, with 21 kills, 6 deaths. Well, he's been fed a lot of kills on the CT side that we discussed before. Spexy, who uh, of course played very well himself with 19 kills, 7 deaths. Fister with 19 kills, 8 deaths. Madbone as well on a positive KDR with 11 kills, 10 deaths. And Hertzer with 13 kills and 10 deaths. So, uh, with Croatia being on 15 rounds, they need one more round to secure this win. And they're making their way towards this B-bomb site now. Spexy gets first blood onto Mister. Then, okay, we'll take down Hertz. Can he get the second kill? No. Spexy lands that AK-47 bullet exactly where he wanted it to go. Onto the head of NRK. So, three versus three now. Interesting to see all CTs are rotating from CT spawn. Misko, by the looks of things, though, he does have an M4. So, my bad for that. Kronos making his way through ruins. ZRX through that nade, dealt no damage, you can't afford to waste nades like that trying to retake a bomb site. Madbone's been spotted now, he's probably going to try and act as bait. Chill out Madbone, you got this. Great crossfire with Spexy, and Madbone peaked and paid the price after they knew exactly where he was. Can Spexy save the day now? They know where he is. Kronos is going to push him. Who's going to get this? Spexy's playing for time. And Kronos <laughs> knifed Spexy, but it's not going to matter. We're going to have Croatia 16, Montenegro 4 for this first First map, yeah, first map. 